Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you if you guys have a Dodge vehicle, pretty much any Dodge vehicle guys, and you need to reset or calibrate the steering angle sensor guys, we will show you what equipment we use and how we do that. Every time guys, you put new sensor, new cork spring, uh, <coughs> let's say, excuse me, you guys replace front end parts, uh, suspension, anything like that, you may need to reset your sensor and every time you go for a uh, uh, for front end alignment you will need to reset that sensor so it can detect that the steering wheel is facing in the correct position otherwise your abs traction control light may be on guys quick introduction every single car including this one here we make at least 200 videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys uh, for uh, all the work we do here now if you guys need to buy any replacement parts tools the scanner that we'll be using check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get all that from this is guys the scanner that we'll be using we usually have a cheaper one that works really good as well but uh, it couldn't connect to the dodge vehicle guys we did on other dodge vehicles on this one uh, we had to use this scanner guys so uh, let me show you now guys this is the wireless device that we have this goes inside and uh, this is the uh, tablet scanner itself so you can go anywhere around the car wireless really cool device and uh, <coughs> check out guys all the different makes that it supports this is pretty much dealer level equipment you can wor work on lamborghini and ferraris even guys dealer level equipment in your pocket guys you can do ecu programming you can do so much so let me show you what we will do now here all we have to do get the programming device which is a wireless device and connect it to the obd port of your dodge vehicle guys so this is the steering uh, steering wheel here most of the time steering angle sensor will be uh, integrated in the clock spring or behind the clock spring guys okay we go ahead connect it on some older dodge vehicles guys you may actually find that device guys okay you may find that device uh, the steering angle sensor on the steering shaft as well now that being plugged in guys what i'll do next i'll get the scanner okay right here this is the brains guys the other one is the co communicating device this is where the magic happens so now what we need to do first step will be position your steering wheel straight ahead guys okay straight ahead you don't want guys okay that steering wheel to be facing left or right because the procedure will not be correct now i want to show you something make sure you stand till the end i'll turn the ignition on without starting the car okay you can see without starting the car guys and here we're going to select now we have dodge vehicle and next it's going to give us the ear that we need guys okay in our case let me even turn the light off manual selection if you click automatic selection what it's going to do it will actually uh, uh, decode the VIN number and select the vehicle on its own but even if you do manual it's not very complicated next we go diagnostics control unit here we click chassis and under chassis okay let me see which is better I think it's better like that we select anti-lock brakes because it's part of the traction control and ABS system now guys if we go to live data I want to show you something under live data now guys okay you can find your steering angle sensor value somewhere okay steering angle sensor it says 0.1 degrees if i move the steering wheel okay it will go to negative 13 okay positive 6 so when i move the steering wheel that value guys changes as well okay so now i will leave it okay like that now yours may be completely off simply because okay it may detect that the car is going straight but it's not so that's why you need to reset it okay so what i'm going to do now guys okay we'll click special function here and under special function we click steering angle sensor reset now it says the procedure will calibrate please make uh, sure that the steering wheel is centered with the wheels pointed straight ahead click ok steering angle sensor calibration passed guys and now if i exit here guys okay i'm done with all the functions if i exit and restart the car i shouldn't have any traction control light or abs lights on so let's check it out now everything should go away yep perfect so that definitely took care of our problem guys thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time